All right then, back with the uh, 2006 Simpisher Partner EHDI. I think it's uh, 1.9. Uh, diesel injection with uh, automatic F1 switch based gearing system, electronic. Now that we are driving southwards on the motorway, I would like to share with you some of my experiences. Uh, it is actually a short band, so uh, it's a three-seater and uh, it feels also more or less like a van, but uh, uh, what I like about it is actually the harmonic engine and gear system for uh, you know traffic aided motorways with uh, uh, hybrid or semi motorways over uh, bridges channels fjords uh, for a typical uh, european driving style where we have many tunnels we have much weather rain I mean, not only four seasons, but five seasons as well that you have. In a month of November, you have uh, sun like we have today. Then you have uh, winter frost uh, in the nights. And then you may have uh, some wind and rain as well. Uh, but now... Uh, by the mid end of November, uh, we can see that the winter is uh, taking over. Typically, when it's when the sun is the sun is uh, coming back. Otherwise, you you know that a bit about the driving and weather conditions uh, that uh, in Denmark, uh, southwest. Uh, Norway, uh, Scotland, Ireland, UK, we have more or less grayish weather or uh, cloudy, rainy weather, uh, but it's uh, pleasant. Uh, I think we have uh, 7 Celsius with us right now, 2.45 on a Sunday, uh, and I think that is the same weather as it is uh, in Germany, Poland, Benelux, uh, with uh, perhaps only a uh, one degree Celsius difference. Um, London area and southwards is uh, two, three, four Celsius uh, warmer for several reasons. And the reason I'm taking up uh, climate and all that uh, with you in this uh, uh, on a review of a Peugeot Partner is that uh, um, when we drive, uh, let's say in Norway, um, the, uh, the, then we have to actually watch the, the, the seasonal weathers and so on because it may be uh, snowing on the mountains, it may be some snow towards southeast Norway, which is uh, again a bit more central Europe and towards uh, Sweden uh, and towards Oslo, Sweden, Finland. It's typically a uh, more ar arctic uh, weather with uh, Colder weather and uh, more uh, snow, snowfall. While uh, for West Europe, uh, downwards, let's say uh, Stavanger, Bergen in Norway, Kristiansand towards Denmark, uh, Netherlands, Benelux, UK. There we have more or less the, the same. They have just started working with a new 
motorway uh, from Stavanger to Kristiansand, uh, which we are going to see today. Or uh, th that is actually some of that uh, goal-oriented uh, visit, uh, and that's why I'm not taking. Uh, for uh, L cars uh, and uh, we are luckily driving an HDI uh, diesel uh, engine uh, and uh, yeah I'm at least happy with that when we come back we'll uh, Try to fill up some diesel as well. Um, I, I'm not going to bend exactly how much fuel um, the, the car is uh, spending on the trip, but that's something uh, I can uh, orientate you about. During our uh, yeah average, if you if you want an update on that, about twenty one kilometer and. Um, The transmission uh, is actually so fast with uh, switching gears that uh, six now, yeah, so, so that you actually don't have to worry about the about uh, you know gearing up and down and uh, all that we do have on the camera here the photo box and uh, driving uh, in itself uh, in uh, Norway is cool enough but uh, you see the traffic amount, the volume of traffic, uh, these are all cars coming from, uh, yeah, into Stavanger from the south and uh, I don't know why people are driving in 60 or 50 on this 70, 80 highway. But uh, as you can see, it's not uh, a motorway like we are used to uh, from here. And now we are uh, moving towards. Uh, um, yeah, we yeah. are. Going to drive between mountains, uh, and then we will uh, yeah, have more mountains very soon. And let us see. Um, this petrol partner is. Uh, could be actually a, a family car as well with uh, three seats in the back, passenger seats, but um, it is not a tracker, it uh, hasn't a tow bar, um, which 
which is uh, actually a pity. I think they should have a tow bar for the reason that uh, if you don't, then it's a bit difficult to actually uh, use this, this one as a supply or cargo car, right? Uh, either it should be a bit longer car or it should be a bit yeah, more fit for a town. Six uh, Celsius, and uh, I got twenty six kilometers only, and uh, I still have plenty of diesel left on this uh, echo mode. As uh, I told you, I just have to drive normally in order to not over um, consume fuel. driving style which I think is a bit cool uh, I like uh, when I can have a uh, 90 100 uh, speed on such ways actually to be honest and 110 uh, through valleys and valleys tunnels challenging mountainous or hill geo hilly geography that is uh, something I think is uh, is a bit cool but uh, uh, then again uh, uh, of course I prefer uh, highways or motorways with uh, at least 110 kilometers uh, for uh, that constant driving pleasure where uh, you can just uh, do that uh, intercity driving about 14 uh, Yes. Mm -hmm. 